And it looks like I actually did save uh, after King Samurai's Kingdom. That's good. Glad I remembered to do that. It means I don't have to replay it over again. Hello, all the crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Uh, there is a dwindling number of things remaining for me to do in this game. Uh, there's a couple things that I won't be doing. I have no intention of going through all of the, uh, for example, catch cards and catching everything. I'll catch some things uh, if I can, because I think it's cool. Um, I have no intention of going through and filling out the recipe decks. I'm about a third of the way there. Once again, I'll do it for some things because I think it's cool, but I'm not going to, uh, not going to go out of my way to track, no track down all 96 recipes. Uh, maps are a somewhat of a different story. I would like to, um, I would like to hit all these because I think it's, I think it's interesting and you sometimes get interesting items. Um, however, I believe I'm going to need a little bit more money to do that. And there is, of course, the looming flop side pit of 100. So before I go anywhere else, let me uh, switch over to Mario, actually, because I think he's less, uh, less awkward than Bowser, anyway. Uh, can I actually buy any more of Flame's maps? I'm going to go check that now. You there! I believe the maps that you have remaining for me are a little on the expensive side. Oh, no, actually, there's a couple expensive ones. But there's also a lot of uh, extremely cheap ones. Alright, well... I will, for the time being, um, just pick up a couple a couple of the cheaper ones again. Um, and this is going to lead, I think, nicely into another thing that I want to do. It's been a long time since I've had an excuse to use a transition like that. Anyway, uh, back over here in the super symmetric version of Flopside. Uh, if I were to come over outside of the, uh, little flim flim area, and if I sound like I'm out of breath, I, uh, had to take a bit of a, uh, an excursion away from the game for about 20 minutes, because I had to go, uh, run down the street to, uh, to deliver something to, uh, to someone. But, I am back, and I, uh, uh, what was I just doing? It's really cold outside, you'll have to excuse me. Anyway, if you come down this pipe, in the, uh, the bar in the basement of, uh, Flipside. Uh, you can play some minigames. Oh, I am most pleased another gaming customer has found us. Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure, the Arcade. I am the master of this fine establishment. You may call me the Interchet. Fascinating. It is a pleasure to rob you. I mean, meet you. Now that the introductions are out of the way, let me tell you about this place. This is the Arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. To play games, you must first purchase Flipside tokens. Just come see me with a few coins, and I will give you the tokens you need. But you cannot return tokens for coins, so be careful. Oh, so careful, gamer. And that is how this game chose to get around the uh, European Union gambling re regulations in the mid-2000s. And once you have some tokens, enter this neato edge to the left. You may play as many- you, you may play fun games until you run out of tokens. You will love it, gamer. But now I have crucial information. Get a good score and receive tokens back. Collect a lot of tokens and turn them in for wonderful prizes. Play the games, get good, and then earn prizes, gamer. Oh, arcade, is, it is paradise. That ends my explanation. Now, do you see how this wonderful, how wonderful this place is, gamer? Um, I would say no to be funny, but I worry that if I do that, you're just gonna deliver that monologue over again, and I don't really want to hear it. So, um, wait, what? Is that a golden card you clutch in your hand? Oh yes, I did find this somewhere, didn't I? I don't remember where I picked it up, but. Um, pardon my insolence, Valley Gamer. Please access our Elite Game immediately. You can play a new game. So the Golden Card, and again, I don't remember where you find that in the game. Um, let's splurge for 10 tokens, shall we? Um, I don't remember where you find the Golden Card in the game, but that will unlock a, uh, an extra, uh, minigame for you to play in this, uh, this gaming arcade. So I'm gonna run through these. I like some of them better than others. Um... Let's see, you can, uh, you can play Forget-Me-Not, which is basically a match three game. Uh, you can play Mansion Patrol, which is sort of, sort of some sort of, like, shooter game, uh, regarding booze and pointing the Wii remote at the screen, because we gotta get our motion controls in this game somehow. Till Island, which is Avoid Falling Objects, and Hammer Whacker, um, which is exactly what it sounds like. I think the, uh, the thumbnail down there gives away how that works pretty well. Let's play Forget-Me-Not, let's do this in order. Um, I am going to play the game. So I will need to uh, back up from the screen a little bit and point the cursor. There we go. All right. I unfortunately did not actually see any of... All right. 
Thanks, I guess. Uh, I did not see any of the tiles that opened up because I was not looking at the screen because I was trying to find... Alright, that's cool. Uh, so that leaves one... I believe you and you are both Dementio. But the fact that you're swapping around on the screen doesn't really help, but we can, uh, we can clear that stage. Alright. Let's move on to round two, and let's see, I see two, Luigi, two Mimi. Um, Mimi is gonna be here, Luigi, Luigi is gonna be here, and I want to say, okay, that was not what I had in mind, but, uh, I, I, I was just looking at it, wasn't I? Merlumina, or Merle, not Merlumina, uh, that is Merle. Okay. Round two cleared. And there's more cards. Uh, two Mimis, two Mer Merlis in the corner down here. Um, that was unfortunately all I was able to see. Um, I think these two swapped. Did you, did you not? All right, I was able to follow that one. Um, Pistovius, no, that was Dementio. Uh, that was Bowser. I feel like Bowser is over there. Okay, cool. Um, I do not remember where the other Dementia card was. Alright. I think I've done decently for myself, all things considered, in this game so far. Uh, I do not have a spectacular memory. Alright, now, now things are really gonna heat up. Oh, Chunks, oh, Chunks, Black, Black. I should at least be able to get these two. Alright, that's that. That is a mushroom. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember where anything else was, so, so I'm gonna have to start off by guessing. Alright, those are Mimis. Definitely saw those. Uh, Dementia, I don't know where. Alright, that was lucky. Alright, most of this round, admittedly, has been luck. Uh, I, I feel like round five is gonna be the end of me. Oh, that's that's not too many. I haven't. You guys are gonna like move around a lot, aren't you? Um, would appreciate it if you didn't move around a lot. Oh wow! All right. Again, guesswork, but I was able to get through that one. What's up next? Okay. Uh, tippy tippy, Luigi Luigi, uh, Merlin Merlin or Nolverm. I didn't see which one it was. Um. That one moved, so you two are going to be tippy. Alright. Uh, Mimi and Mimi, and it does help when the tiles are adjacent to each other, because that sort of increases the chance that I'll spot them in the second or two when the round starts. Oh boy. Bowser, Bowser, uh, tippy tippy, and... Alright, let's see if I can go... F screw you. Uh, from here. Very much. Um, I think Mario was here. Nope. Nope. Uh, there were two Nastasia. I'm done to my last. Uh, my last guess. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, 50/50 chance on that last one. I am finished with flip out. Uh, that was worth. Worth playing once? How many coins am I going to get from that? Alright, so I made back my, uh, my investment, if you want to call it that. Yes, hold the remote sideways. Mansion Patrol! Alright, let's play Mansion Patrol. This is going to be a game about zapping booze with the, uh, the end zap gun. Or, was that what the, uh, was that what that little device was called? I can't remember. Failing of gaming history. Alright. Uh, instead of testing my memory, this game is going to be a test of my, uh, Hand-eye coordination. A bit of a more traditional video game. I have to say, I feel like this is the most arcade-y of the four arcade games in this uh, in this arcade. Um, definitely has the feeling of something that you would you would see in like in a an arcade that you would go visit physically. Uh, what with the uh, the zap and the booze and all that. All right, you guys can hold still, uh, please. Thank you. Oops. Missed. 
Um, nothing really happens if you miss, as far as I know, so if you really want to, you can, like, just spam the button, but I don't think it'll really help, uh, given that there is a, a small delay between when you can, uh, you can shoot again. Oh, did the, uh, did the score counter reset when I missed? Maybe there is a consequence of missing, so that would be, definitely be a good reason to not spam the button. Um, anyway, you guys, oops. Yeah, the score counter reset when I uh, when I missed. Okay. Uh, that's cool. I do not remember that. You can stop that. If, if you get too close. Oh, thank you. Alright. So that is an auto-fire mechanic of sorts. Uh, when you drop the toad, I guess, you'll give me a mushroom or something. I think that was a mushroom. Uh, that was apparently round two. Round one. This is round two. Alright, you're worth more, I think. I think you actually, like, gave the, uh, gave the next number in the sequence of points when, when I hit you with Purple Boo. Um, alright. Go away. Stop. No, help. Alright, down to one life. It's not going great. I definitely had a bit of a better score in the other one. The, uh, the hand-eye coordination leaves a bit to be desired. Um, and I can't, I can't even blame, like, the imprecision of the, the Wii's motion controls for this either, because all I'm doing is pointing the cursor at the screen. And, uh, that's all calibrated properly. Alright. Does this, does the score counter max out at 800? It's not, that doesn't feel like a very high multiplier. It's just a 2x multiplier from when you, uh, when you start. Yeah, the, uh, the score multiplier is max, max, oops, maxing out at 800. Um, a bunch of guys spawning at once. Don't appreciate. Um, admittedly, I think my aim is getting a little bit better, but still not really a game I, I feel great at. And there, we missed. Alright, round two. I'm honestly surprised I got to the end of that. Uh, this one is definitely going to be a little bit crazier. Um, missed. Right, now there's a lot of guys on screen. You, you go away, and that's game. All right, didn't quite make it to ten thousand. I, uh, what kind of, how many uh, tokens is that gonna merit me? I want to say nine. Nine, almost ten. I, uh, almost made that investment back. Till Island. All right, this one was my favorite. When I was, uh, when I was a little Dratini. So this is Till Island, and this is going to be a game about, uh, let's see, holding the Wii Remote, tilting the Wii Remote, and, uh, avoiding the enemies as they come down from on high, uh, trying not to fall off, and grabbing the, uh, grabbing the fruit. Alright. That was round one. That was really a tutorial round of sorts. Uh, let's see. This is actually not as sensitive as I remembered it being. I remembered tilting the, uh, the remote and moving a lot. Ah, missed a bunch of things. Uh, moving a lot more uh, quickly. Try not to fall off the edge. Alright, thank you very much. My score is going up here quite a bit faster than it was in the Boo Mansion minigame. Those are Squig's spinies. Spinies are definitely not something I really want to want to land on my head. Uh, let's see, Peachy Peach. I'm grabbing all the food. Uh, let's see, Mango. Mango uh, Sunday thing. I like me some mango. Is this a game about... Um, I, I do realize that there is a uh, counter at the bottom. It's been many years since I played this, but do I have to, like, would it be prudent to selectively go after the fancier looking items as opposed to the peachy peaches and what have you? Because, uh, I think the peachy peaches were definitely not giving me as many points. That was a flower. I, uh, Sundays, for example. Should I, should I grab that? Hello. 
Alright. Yeah, those are definitely giving me more points than the, uh, the Peachy Peaches, so that would be uh, in my interest to go after those. More so than the, um, uh, the simple items. Alright. Around round five already. Things are really starting to fall fast. Um, what happens if I grab the flower? I did not manage to grab the flower, and I almost fell off. And then I almost got squished. Uh, ice cream, however. A uh, fun, fun treat to have. Or at least it would be if it was about uh, 30 degrees warmer outside. Alright. Of course, if you, if you want to try to... Ooh, okay, that was a star, man. Didn't get a chance to see what that did. Uh, if you want to try and uh, go for all Sundays or whatever, get a uh, higher score faster, you're free to do that. But I'm not sure. I think I will settle for Mango because those do give a lot more uh, more score. Uh, didn't get that one. A lot more score than the Peaches. Oh, wow. Hello. I'm actually surprised that one didn't graze me. Wow, I'm terrible all of a sudden. Um, gonna try and... God. Gonna try and hang out in the middle. Uh, okay, this is gonna allow me to, to whack enemies out of the way? It is, alright. That's what the flower does. Good to know. Oh boy. Uh, that's a tight squeeze. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. Um, starting to wonder if I should just, uh... Ugh. That was terrible. I was starting to wonder if I should just accept the, uh, the peaches for the sake of getting through levels or anything like that. Um, I do, of course, get some amount of score for bonking the, uh, the enemies when I'm in this state. It's maybe not a bad thing to do. All right, three in a row. I have not gotten any actual items. Those have been very few and far between. Okay, 20,000 score. My head is a little itchy, and this doesn't feel like the best time for me to, like, reach up and shake it. And, and scratch it, rather. Okay, round seven. I suppose you can liken this to Tetris in the way that, uh, things definitely speed up towards the, uh, the later, later, uh, levels. Ooh, two ice cream. Can I get? I can. Oh, that was, that was dumb. All right. Um... The lives are per round, aren't they? So if you're uh, if you're low on lives, the next round will reset them. Oh no! Is it? Oh, it's the mushroom. I've been picking up mushrooms once in a while, uh, which is probably what uh what resets them. Okay. I uh, I would like to know exactly what is causing all these things to fall out of the sky. Uh, it's a little bit curious. It's not something that usually happens, but. I suppose on the standards of, uh, of Mario games, weirder things have... Ooh, if you fall off, you will lose a life. Um, weirder things have happened. Ooh, god. I, I just missed a couple. And then, and then I missed a, uh, another flower. Alright.
actually an end to this game? I I just assumed that I kept going. All right, I'm not gonna complain. I uh, made back my investment on that one handily. All right, I see I have a high score or almost a high score anyway behind Mort. That's cool. So that is uh, that is Till Island. Uh, it looks more impressive sped up. I know. Um, let's see. Definitely, uh, don't try to run like don't try to run all the way across the uh, the level to get to something that's out of reach because uh, that is a good way to uh, die in one way or another. And also, at a certain point, I just gave up trying to trying to ignore the peaches because they were good enough, and I didn't want to prolong the game. Hammer Whacker is the last one. This is twenty flip side tokens. I believe this is the one that will open up. Um, when you have the gold card, and I'm gonna adjust my position in my in my seat here. And by seat, I mean the exercise ball that I'm standing on. Uh, let's see, I am going to need to... I thought it was the A button, but maybe it's shaking the Wii Remote. Let's see, let's try that again. There we go, okay. Shake the Wii Remote, or flick the Wii Remote, I guess, as it um, would be called by the game. But we are going to... Whack that hammer. And the, uh, the closer the shell is to you when you manage to whack it, uh, you will actually get a better score. And uh, there's, uh, there's of course, nice, good, great, excellent, wonderful. I, I forget what exactly the ranks are. Uh, that one was a wonderful. Oh, ow. Um, if you heard a noise there, I just... Uh, violated the uh, the suggestion at the beginning of every Wii game and whacked the remote on my desk here. Uh, doesn't seem to be damaged. Still works, but uh, yeah, try not to whack your, your Wii remote on the desk. And this is very much a, a reflex-based game. So we've got two shells inbound. Alright, good. Nice. Uh, if you want to play Daredevil, you could attempt to let them get closer to you before swinging the remote, but it's really a matter of frames. And I don't know if I feel like playing Daredevil uh, that badly. I would like to make back my investment, although I'm not going to spend a tremendous amount of time down here, so if I don't, it's not a big deal. I really, realistically... Um, playing Till Island gave me back all, more than the number of coins that I'm spending on these games, so... Um, it's not like I really am going to come out of here in the, in the red. Uh, you do get to trade in. You do get to trade in your uh, your tokens, your tickets, your whatever they are for, uh, for items and stuff. You can't cash them out. All right, that was a wonderful. Which is nice. Uh, you can't cash them out because, again, uh, gambling laws and rating games for kids. But you can trade them in for items. So if nothing else, this is basically like a roundabout way of buying items. Was that three? Two... Three. Again, I'm not playing too daredevilish. Um, see, that's a hundred fifty thousand points. That should be good for getting uh, fifteen coins back. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That was close. I uh, thought I was gonna get hit by at least one of those, but apparently I did not. That was a great. Two. I haven't done this, but I feel like if I swing too early, that also, like, won't count, right? Do I want to experiment with that and figure out? Is it worth it? I've made back my, uh... Made back my investments, as I keep calling it. I'm getting 23 coins back now. Um, this being the, like, the, um... The premiere game, as, as one might call it, uh, you, there is definitely a higher potential payout here than there, uh, there is with the other ones because you uh, it is somewhat easier to accrue a higher score more quickly than it is with, for example, Boo Mansion. Uh, Boo Mansion is probably the one I'm least interested in, and I don't know if it's... Ah, uh, wow, okay. Not quite. I don't know if Boo Mansion is, uh, like, definitively the worst game for grinding out coins, or if my reflexes are just that bad. Um, I, uh, as I mentioned, I always did, like, Tilt Island, and this one 
Uh, this one has its merits, even if I uh, did not did not quite do as well there as I as I hoped I would. Anyway, I think that's it for down here. Uh, let's see, what can I trade for items? I can buy a mystery box. I can buy a catch card, a shooting star, Wackus bump. All right, that's uh, a little on the expensive side. I have not actually remembered to uh, to visit Wacka in this game. Uh, Wacka is in this game in uh, Chapter 5. I Every time I go to Chapter 5, it just slips in my mind. Uh, I'll get there eventually, I promise. There's an, a, a specifically an Amazing Daisy catch card, which I will not be buying. Um, don't have nearly enough uh, enough tokens for that. And HP and power pluses, which will raise your uh, your attack and HP by a certain amount. Um, uh, is there anything I really... Maybe on my own time I'll come back and buy an Ultra Shroom Shake. That's worth 300 coins in regular gameplay, I think. I don't really, I don't really feel like getting anything else, but uh, that is gonna do it for today. My name is, my name is Dragonite. This has been Super Paper Mario. Uh, next time, what am I gonna do next time? Am I gonna go visit the uh, Flopside Pit of a Hundred for once, or am I, am I gonna find another way to progress and it was something else? I haven't decided yet, but regardless, I will see you all later.